Hey guys, it's Amanda and Monica and Lumi, and here today with you to show you how to make the Lady Guinevere bracelet. This is the design we'll be doing today, and this was designed by our friend Andrea, the looming artist, and you can find her on Instagram. And she also has a flippogram, and she also has um, a YouTube channel uh, with the flippogram posted. And she made this bracelet about a year ago, so it's pretty far down on her account, so I'm not going to scroll all the way down and show you that, but... Um, definitely give her a follow and you want to check her out. So this is Lady Guinevere and it is a seven pin part, seven, sorry, seven pin bar design and you will need at least two full looms for a full wrap. Uh, for the tutorial today I'm just going to do one loom and it is kind of tight in the center so go ahead and pick your bands and pick them uh, for the center type, you want to use really good quality bands. As always, we use Rainbow Loom Official. And so go ahead and get that set up. Get your bands and your pin bars need to be set up in this configuration. And come back and we'll get started. Alright, so I got my colors. I'm actually going to be using colors that are very similar to this bracelet. This is the Amandolin bracelet designed by uh, Love Saloon. Um, so I really like this color combo. And I'm going to be using uh, these colors. Uh, Persian black, uh, metallic gold, one of the burgundies from limited edition, gray uh, Persian, I think, and then one of the new silicone uh, glitter golds or something like that. I don't know. Once we take them out of the pack, we just totally forget what colors they are unless we know them by heart. So seven pin bar configuration, zooming in here just a little bit to get you started and reaching across here. I'm going to start out with my Persian, the black, and we're just going to do a simple border. Okay, I'm going to lay two bands here because this is where I'm going to close close it with. Make sure you, we're just going to lay a simple perimeter border. This is pretty basic with looming. Okay, so I'll just show you where to close that once you guys have that all set up. Just take it all the way to the end of the loom. So I'm at the top. So for the from the fourth pin bar down, one, two, three, four, we're gonna cut in. One, two, three, four. Take it over, and we're just gonna close it off. Very simple. That's what you have should have for your border perimeter first perimeter and what it ends up looking like um, this border actually ends up kind of laying on top because we actually lay a final border that goes around so this is what so what color that you're going to want to pick for this is going to be actually the one that I beaded so if you want to bead this you can um, and it kind of comes out laying on top for this one I use 10 man so now the next bands that we're going to lay are these crossing bands here. And I think for this one I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to probably use my gold. Actually I'm going to probably, I'm going to go with this for like the, the glitter. It's a different kind of gold but it's the, the silicone, um, the new 600 pack of the, the gold, whatever. Not uh, this gold. So the first band that you're going to lay, it's your second pin bar in. We're going to take it and stretch it. Oh, my loom wants to move to it. Okay. That is kind of tight. And I'm going to do the same thing here. So 
second pin bar over, and I'm going to stretch it. And then now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take these two pin bars, and I'm going to take it and go across, just like so. Now I'm going to pick up from this band, this pin bar here and go across, stretching, grab a couple more of my bands, and then I'm going to go here and go across. I find it easier if you just lay the bands on one side first and then go to the other side, that way you kind of don't get out of sequence. here, just like that. Okay, then I'm going to show you on this side. Same thing here, then we're going to go across. All the way up the loom. So finish that and I'll show you how to close it off. Now we've got our last band laid here. And then it's just very simple. You just follow that pattern to close it here. So far you should have this on your loom. And then our next step, we're gonna take this pin bar. We're just gonna do a single chain. Up. And I'm going to use, sorry, I'm reaching again. I'm gonna use the same color that I used for my border my perimeter and we're just going to do a single chain. Now it gets kind of heavy right in here so as you're putting this single chain you might want to go ahead and push those bands down because it gets a little bit band heavy. So just go ahead all the way up on both sides with that single chain. Zooming in a little bit. And twist the bands too. I cannot stand twisty bands. Even though that's what originally Rainbow Loom was called originally. Yeah, twisty bands. So single chain. those bands down. Grab some more. I think I grabbed just enough. And this, what it's going to be, it's going to be this color right here. This chain that runs right through there. Okay, now moving along, I'm trying to decide what color I want to use, okay. So I'll probably, it's going to be the blue that I have in here. So I'm probably going to go with, thinking, 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 might go ahead and, hmm. oh, let's just go with the burgundy. So we're just going to go starting here and do a zigzag pattern up the loom, starting on this band, 
this pin bar, sorry. And then just zigzag up. Same thing here. This is why I wanted to go ahead and push those bands down here. So continue with that pattern and I will show you how to close it off up top here. So I have completed all the way on both sides of the loom. Very simple to close it off. You're just gonna take it just like so. And you should have the zigzag pattern. And then now what we're gonna do is we're gonna run another single chain through here. Very simple. And then what that ends up being is this, uh, the gray that I used, the single chain through there. And I think I'm gonna go ahead and stick with that um, since I used the gray in here as well. I think it's Persian gray, I don't know. There, there's so many, I just cannot keep up with them. So we're just gonna take that single chain and run it all the way to the top. And I will say, with these designs, sometimes um, with the bands that you choose, sometimes limited edition work really well, um, and sometimes the dual layer bands don't work as well, just because sometimes they get really tight. Let me just show you what I'm talking about. Just because they get really tight in here, and then on the back side, you kind of have to deal with these. So that's where I think the limited edition would come in good there. Um, just because I don't know really why, but I have noticed a lot with the wider pin bar designs that that kind of happens. So I'm just throwing that out there. So single chain all the way up. I'll just do this with you. And you do want to bring it all the way to the, the tip there on both sides. Coming back to the bottom, our next step we're going to be doing here. Now here you can actually use two different colors. Um, and here I did as well. Um, I think for this I'm going to just stick with one color and see how it comes out. Um, I use the the metallic silver and the burgundy here, um, and I think for this I'm just gonna stick with the gold and see how that turns out. So we're just going to lay those bands. Just like so. There's so many different color combinations that you can use with all of these uh, bigger designs. And I like kind of the theme with the name of the bracelet, Lady Guinevere. Uh, kind of using these uh, metallic colors, uh, medieval colors. 
know Persian doesn't really fit the theme, but you get my drift. So we're just going to continue this. It's not really a starburst, but we're just call it our X's. All the way up the loom. So finish that. And I'll show you how to close. So now I'm at the top of my loom and I'm just going to make sure that I have those X's all the way to the top. And twisty this band. And it should look just like that. So now what we're going to do is we're going to run another single chain down the middle. All the way down the middle. And I think I'm going to kind of stick with um, this burgundy. Glitter, glitzy burgundy or whichever one. There's two of the burgundies in the limited edition. And I'm just going to, we're just going to run that up the middle. Starting with this very bottom pin. And go all the way up. I really love this color combination. Um, our sweet, dear friend, Artisan Loom. I'm always kind of reaching out for something different because I find myself kind of leaning towards the same color combinations all the time. And I'm like, God, I need something different. So um, I think she gave me this color combination uh, several months ago when I made this bracelet. Um, so I'm like, you know, that would be perfect for that bracelet so even though I kind of mixed it up a little bit added a different different band so we're gonna take this all the way to the very end just right there and your loom should look like this so we only have one more step to do guys uh, we've got all these bands laid. Now we're going to lay our final border. Um, it's going to be this one. I, I used the, the gray for this one. Um, you would think that it would be the Tin Man that I used here, but actually it's the, the gray, and I'm going to stick with that. And we're just going to take it and lay it on top of everything that we have, starting here, going all the way around. We're going to lay it and close it off up here. So I'm going to grab my gray. It's medieval gray. Whatever. We're just going to call it gray. Sliding those there, there. And just do a perimeter. Another perimeter to kind of finish it. You can bling this. You don't have to bling it. The first one that I did, I did bling. Um, I kind of wanted to put like a Celtic cross in the middle, but I just kind of ran out of time. But I think that would be cool. can see you know some of these pet pin pin bars sorry they do get a little band heavy especially these these two here do get a little band heavy grabbing some more of my gray I notice that for those of you guys that have fur babies, you know that these uh, 300 count, I don't know if you noticed, but fur babies' hairs sure do like to stick to those. Okay, and we're just gonna 
take this all the way and close it off. Both sides, just like that. And now we have finished with our laying of the bands. And I'm gonna go ahead and turn my loom around. And it's almost time for us to loop this baby. So single cat band, or single band, we're gonna cap this baby off. You know Monica and I, we like three, one, two, and three. And there we go. And we are ready to loom. All right, it's time to loom this bad boy. What we're gonna do, first step, is we're gonna lay the bands that we just laid down, okay? I'm gonna go inside this capping band in here. Pull that up for you. Pull that back. Grab that very band on top. Should be that last band that you just laid. I'm gonna turn it just a little bit for you. I'm gonna take that, pull that out, make that teardrop shape. Go back into that cap band. It's gonna be a little bit tight at first. Grab that other side of that band, pull that, and back it to itself. And we're just gonna loop. Loop that top perimeter all the way to the end. Very simple technique. Now I'm just gonna go over here on this side and loom all the way up. Zoom out just a little bit. Do you hear any background noise? It's summertime, kids are home, so. Top band, only that perimeter band. There's a fur baby. Okay. Only the perimeter band. Okay, I'm going to go in and grab that your band and over and over and over okay coming back to this side where I left off here I know where I left off because I have a teardrop there and I'm just gonna loom up What have you guys been doing for this summer? You've been swimming? Anything fun? We actually joined a pool this year, first time ever. Um, so the kids have loved that. Mom has too. Yep. Dad hasn't been able to enjoy that very much because he had back surgery. So he's had to stay out. And so that's why our looming has kind of decreased a little bit. Haven't been having to take care of the family. Surgery's going on. But yeah, swimming, definitely swimming. All right, so we are almost done with this first step. Come here, and I'm gonna loom over. Loom over. This is the last band for this section. All right. Should look like that. Okay, now we're gonna grab the single chain that we just laid. This would be my burgundy color. Go in underneath that cat band and we're just gonna loom straight up back to itself. Easy peasy. 
all the way to the top. Whoopsie. Just like so. There we go. So actually the single chain has kind of acted like a cat band and you can see the single chain here, sort of. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna go in and grab these gold bands and go in the center and we're gonna loom those out. Okay, so not here. We're gonna go here, grab this top band and go back to itself. Whichever band next is on top and back into itself. So you can see how it's kind of making a cat band. Kind of turns into a cat band. Kind of push those bands down over there. And then this one over to itself. So we've got this cat band or what the single chain kind of turns into a cat band. I've already said that three times. So we're going to go up to the next pin bar go in pull that over back to itself and see how these are really getting band heavy so you just really want to your those bands are twisting and i can't stand it put that down to itself and back up to itself just like so go in here Show you a couple more times. Now, if that happens, not a problem. Don't fret. We can just go in, pull that, put it back on itself. Okay, so don't worry about that. Back into the next pin bar. Grab that band, mash down, so you guys, guys kind of get the gist of it. Okay, show you this last time, and then I'll finish off camera. There you go. So the top one you're going to do just the same. Just like that. Make sure all your bands are actually on the pad. And there you go. And that's what your loom should look like. Alright, so for this next step, um, it's, it's a very, very easy step. I just want to make sure that you guys have the right band that you're flipping over, okay? So we're going to skip this section here. So make sure you don't do this first uh, section. So what I want you to do is um, go in and grab the very bottom band, okay? So it's actually going to be this, not this band, but it's going to be technically this band, but the bottom, okay? You're going to be wanting to grab this one. Okay, so go in, grab that bottom band, take it like that, just flip it over. Same thing on this side. Go in, grab the very bottom band of these gold bands. I should correct myself, of the gold bands that you've already looped, and just flip it over. You're going to have four bands there, so you want to grab the very bottom one. So it's going to turn like look like that. Okay, we'll go here, grab, make sure I got a good angle. It's kind of hard for y'all to see. Let's see if I can turn it this way. Can y'all see this way? 
I'm going to be grabbing this one. Can y'all see that there? I'm just going to flip. This one. what we're going to do is we're just going to take it and put it back like that, which is easy, but just going to make sure we're grabbing that bottom one and flipping. Bottom one and flip. Okay. And I have none done on this side. all the way up. Make sure it's the bottom one. Very easy. And if you want so you don't have that problem happen to you like all that band come off, I'm just gonna hold those down like that. See it happen again over here. So we're just gonna put those down there. like I'm doing an instruction for an exercise video and flip or maybe even a cheerleading video grabbing the bottom make sure you don't grab that single chain See if that happens, you can just kind of grab that and put it back on the peg. Actually, we're going to leave these. We're not going to be flipping anything here, okay? Just like we left this one, the very bottom, alone. So very simple step here. You have this single chain, and this is what we're going to be looping. But we are going to have to go through a few bands to get to the bottom there. So make sure you're grabbing the right one for me. It is that gray band. And just going to be looping up a little bit tight. That's why you need some good stretchy bands. Make sure they're not going to break on you. And we're just going to continue with that single chain looping. Just make sure you're grabbing. Sorry guys, my uh, phone decided it didn't want to hold any more storage or it didn't have any more storage. So anyway, I was going to say, uh, just continue to follow that single chain uh, all the way up and finish that all the way to the end. You want to close it off here. Okay. So now our next step is after we've done that single chain all the way to the end, should look like that. We're going to go in here where we did our zigzag pattern and first what we're going to do is we're going to go in with the burgundy here, we're going to loom that over, push that down, same side, same over here to this side, 
and get that perimeter band out of the way. And then like that. So it should look like that. You should have those teardrops there. So now we're gonna go in this gaggle of bands here on this pin bar. Pull all those back, grab that bottom burgundy, finagle that out of there, and put it on it on that peg pin bar there. And then just kind of loosen those bands up so it's not stretched. We're gonna do the same thing over here. Pull all those back. That's why I need those good bands, guys or else they're gonna break and snap and then you're just gonna be angry at me, probably. Okay, and moving on. We're gonna go back in. Right over here, just like so. And we're gonna lay that there. I'm going to do the same over here. And we're just going to repeat this pattern all the way up. Okay. Just getting that z z z zigzag. But just be careful. You want to make sure you pull that bottom. Okay. And you can do one side and then come back to the other, whichever you prefer. That way you don't forget where you left off. But just so you know. I'll show you one more time. I'll move over here. And then just finish that pattern all the way to the end. So our zigzag is complete all the way to the end there. The next step is we do have another single chain that we're just gonna go straight in and connect these parts. We're gonna go in right here and just loom these straight up. For me, it's the black Persian, I believe, the 600 count. And we're getting close to being done. So come over here, do this side. Making sure I'm just grabbing that single chain all the way up, guys. Come back when you are done. Okay, so like I said, we're about to wrap it up, getting close. So we're gonna take these bands here, we're gonna stretch them a little bit and come back down. Okay, that's the first step that we're gonna do. So, go all the way here. Grab that band. And I hope these silicone bands sure do work. <laughs> I sure do hope they last. <laughs> Cause I haven't used them, I've only used them for a hook only design. I haven't used them on the loom. So. Let's keep our fingers crossed and hope that they do not snap. I'm gonna do the same thing over here. Going in. All right, so we've got that done. We've got that repeated on both sides. And then we're gonna go in on this pin bar with this band that's here and we're gonna Take it back. Same thing here. And we're basically, we're just gonna repeat this step, okay? So going here, okay? And bringing it down. This step, this is going over. Okay, now I'm just gonna go up on this side Okay, going in, pulling those gently, down, pulling this over. Just 
just like so. Okay, and now I'm going to show you on this side. I did show you here. Remember, we want to bring that band first. Make sure you're grabbing the, the band correctly because otherwise it's going to be out of sync. You want to grab this top band, the long stretchy band first and bring it down. Otherwise your bands will be out of sorts. And last one I'll show you. And then just continue that up the loom. Okay, pretty easy peasy, we're almost done. Now I have showed, I uh, saved the last one to show you because we still need to go in and get this band and bring it back. It's the same step we just have to go through all those bands and finish that off just like that we're gonna do the same thing over here you should have one more band just like that bring it down and then cross this one over and then that's what you should have on your loom hope your loom looks like this and then guys Everything is looped except for this very last parameter. So this is easy, easy, easy. This is a good stretchy band. So it is gonna pull through. You just wanna make sure you're going, you're going through all the bands and getting that little puppy out. And it's, you know, if you use the 600 count, they are going to be really twisty, which I don't like, but. And this is really, really tight right there, especially with that silicone band. But just go through and loop that perimeter. And then we're going to take this guy off the loom. Actually, it's a she. It's Lady Guinevere. So, all right, finish this and we'll see what she looks like. So I have finished looping, looming that final perimeter. As usual, I'm always looking for a C-clip. I got millions of them, but I'm looking for one. Um, just gonna go through. That's why we lay these extra guys here pulling them up see how tight this is I'm just gonna latch that there all right so you can see here these are very very tight I'm not gonna be on camera and make, make y'all watch me pull this off but you guys know by now very very tight take your time getting it off the loom I'm gonna take this off the loom and you guys can um, come back and see what it looked like. All right, guys, so I am very, very pleased with uh, how it turned out. I think it looks great. This is our Lady Guinevere, and I do like how the gold turned out in the middle with um, that. Um, I think the band still kind of did this a little bit. Um, I just think it's the design, so we'll see. But, um, yeah, I do like the gold silicones here. I like how they held up. So I think it looks great. Um, this is the full loom. You can just see how how it shrinks. It's just amazing how one loom does. But yeah, same color pattern. Uh, I think it looks great. Um, so yeah, I do have another one um, that I'm going to be doing a tutorial for for Andrea, the looming artist. It's King Arthur. So keep your eyes out for that. But yeah, this is um, the Lady Guinevere. And check back with us. And always loom for a cause that's why we loom and stay tuned we've got some more things coming up and see you guys soon happy looming